You're listening to the Spark Radio Network, Internet radio like you've never heard before. Innovation, creativity, and imagination are all said to begin with a spark. So fasten your seatbelt and take the ride of your life and listen for the spark. You are listening to KLRN Radio, where liberty and reason still reign. Most writers and radio show hosts know that to connect with your fans, you need to do more than just write books or record the latest podcasts. There are many different elements that go into forming an online platform, but there are also many hidden traps. To make matters worse, solid advice on how to survive the muddy waters is scarce. In the book Hidden Traps, I talk about some of the important issues of working with an online platform, highlighting traps that could put your physical or internet security at risk, or be harmful to your reputation. Are your social media posts just links with a few disjointed words making you look like someone who can't complete a sentence? Did your new website cost you more than you anticipated? Are you leaking your personal contact details across the web without even knowing it? Then you need Hidden Traps. Hidden Traps is now available in paperback and ebook from a variety of retailers, including Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Kobo. Visit blackwolfpublications.com for more details. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-553-8687. That's 800-553-8687. Again, 800-553-8687. KLRN Radio has advertising rates available. We have rates to fit almost any budget. Contact us at advertising at klrnradio.com. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's 800-783-0810. My son was in the Army back during Desert Storm, but even then he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq, Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree too. It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now. 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. Flexible. Affordable. Relevant. Call 800-910-1370. 
Sometimes writers feel lost, unsure why a passage may not be working. It takes another set of eyes to help us nurture our writing into full maturity. At Black Wolf Editorial Services, we strive to enable writers to develop and grow, offering manuscript critiques and line edits through a mentoring editorial style. We also offer assistance on generating a writer's bio for your websites. Black Wolf Editorial Services, nurturing your writing into maturity. For a full list of services, visit blackwolfeditorial.com. You're listening to the Spark Radio Network, internet radio like you've never heard before. Innovation, creativity, and imagination are all said to begin with a spark. So fasten your seatbelt and take the ride of your life and listen for the spark. You are listening to KLRN Radio, where liberty and reason still reign. My name is Jesse. I'm a United States Special Forces widow. This gives me a unique perspective on the world around us. If you're willing to listen, I'll tell you how I see it, and I won't pull any countries. This is my POV, which stands for Point of View. All right, it's Jesse. How y'all doing out there today? You know, I miss you when we're not talking, and I do apologize for missing last night. I was kidnapped by friendly forces. Translation, some friends came by and drug me out, and we didn't quite get home in time. And I apologize. Tis the season for friendly, friendly kidnappings, I suppose. All right. I'm going to play something I have never played for my show before, but given one of the audio clips, I feel it's necessary. This episode may contain some material that is not suitable for younger audiences. Parental guidance is advised. I have some particularly shocking audio that was spoken on the UN Security Council floor. And I'm not going to lead with it, but boy, is it rough. I will start you off with a clip from Nikki Haley. And trust me, it is not the one I'm warning you about. In fact, we're going to start off with something else. We're going to start off with the mashup of North Korean clips from the past year, just to remind you guys what this regime has been up to. So we have 20 years of failed approach. The regime has shown time and again that it doesn't want to talk. North Korea's launch of an ICBM is a clear and sharp military escalation. North Korea does not want to be part of a peaceful world. His abusive use of missiles and his nuclear threats show that he is begging for war. I said the days of talking were over and it was time to act. North Korea best not make any more threats to the United States. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. I have no problem kicking it to General Mattis because I think he has plenty of options. General? Well, I don't know if those missiles can actually hit what they're aimed at, but like horseshoes and hand grenades, getting close is all that's needed when you're dealing with nuclear weapons. Has he given up a first strike possibility? Secretary Mattis? No, sir. Any use of nuclear weapons by the North will be met with a massive military response, effective and overwhelming. Make no mistake, any attack on the United States or our allies will be defeated. All right, so that is a mashup of some of my well-played North Korean clips from the past year. And there are storm clouds brewing in the Asia-Pacific region. And that line does not come from me. In fact, it comes from, yep, there's the show prep, Secretary of Defense Mattis. And he spoke those words when he was speaking to the young men and women of the 82nd Airborne. 
And Mattis' comments came as the UN Security Council unanimously approved even tougher sanctions against North Korea, compelling nations to sharply reduce their sales of oil to the reclusive country and send home all North Korean workers within two years. And he said, quote, storm clouds are gathering over the Korean Peninsula. Those are not words you hear from the Secretary of Defense if he is not trying to prepare his troops for battle. Those are not words you are going to hear tossed around by a man who knows what combat is all about. And add to that The commandant, a Marine Corps commandant, warned United States troops stationed in Norway. Yeah, you heard me, Norway. And this was General Robert Mueller, U.S. Marine Corps commandant. And quote, I hope I'm wrong, but there's a war coming. You're in a fight here, an informational fight, a political fight by your presence. And he also says, we have 300 Marines here. We could go from 300 to 3,000 overnight. We could raise the bar. This was the day before Mattis visited Bragg and said storm clouds are brewing, are gathering over the Korean Peninsula. This is serious. I pray they find a diplomatic solution. Now, I have seen one thing that gives me the most slim of hopes. Yes, one thing that gives me just a sliver of hope. And boy, do I mean sliver. The North Korean, there's a North Korean team prepping not for the Olympics, but the Paralympics, for the Paralympic Winter Olympics. Now, they haven't said they're going. It could just be their training. It could be a diversion. It could be anything. But that is the one thing that gives me a sliver of hope. And I know, I know full well what war looks like. I know. And it isn't pretty, my friends. There is nothing pretty about war. There is nothing pretty about men and women having to fight for freedom. Unfortunately, that is where we are standing. We are on the precipice of what could very well be the Third World War. It is not something I want to see, not something I, I pray, and you have no idea how much every night that I am wrong. 
but I've seen rumors, and these aren't from trusted sites, so I'm going to take them with a shaker of salt. My salt shaker is missing, or I'd shake it for you right now. I've seen rumblings and heard rumblings that we are trying to get together the diplomatic permission to do what's called a bloody nose strike against North Korea. Basically, kind of like we did with Syria. Let loose a salvo of missiles. No troops crossing. However, the sites that have reported them aren't ones I'm going to sit here and pull articles from. I read them. Unfortunately, even a blind squirrel finds a nut once in a while. Now, Mattis has said it is not time to evacuate American civilians. However, he said there is a contingency plan that would get U.S. service members' families out on, quote, very short notice. And he, Mattis has also pretty much said he sees little chance of Kim Jong-un disrupting the Winter Olympics because it would be take, to actually fire on the Olympic Games would essentially be taking on the world and killing athletes. What I do see them doing during the Olympics is shooting off missiles, lobbing stuff into the ocean. Their usual antics. There is still time for a peaceful deal. But unfortunately, I see very little sign of it. I wish, I wish and hope and pray every day that I am not reading these tea leaves correctly. Now, South Korea and the United States may delay their joint military exercises for the duration of the Olymp Winter Olympics. They will be held in February. It's limited to holding the Olympic Games peacefully, and it hasn't been completely approved. It would delay the drills just for the duration of the Olympic Games and the Paralympics. That would mean the Olympic Games are scheduled February 9th to 25th, and the Paralympic Games are slated March 9th to the 18th. They're doing this in attempt, in an attempt not to add gasoline to an already raging fire. Now, add to that, add to that. Oh yes, I have more show prep, my friends. You know I always do. Anthrax bodies have been discovered. Yes, anthrax bodies have been discovered in the bloodstream of a defector. Now, why is this significant? He had the vaccine, is what it's saying. Yes, North Korean soldiers who don't even get food had a very expensive vaccine. That means that North Korea is planning for its soldiers to come into contact with anthrax. That is not a good thing. Trust me, it never is.
Now, I am trying to find the good news. Yeah, I'm searching through for it. What's intriguing about this is that the North Koreans are vaccinated against anthrax. The South Koreans are not. Now, need I remind you that, of course, Pyongyang had their usual reaction after we issued more sanctions. Sanctions are an act of war, according to Pyongyang. I'm not going to play their audio. It is horrific. Now, I'm going to start off with recent remarks from Ambassador Haley. The Kim regime continues to defy the resolutions of this council, the norms of civilized behavior, and the patience of the international community. I can't argue with that one. On November 29th, Pyongyang launched an intercontinental ballistic missile. This was another attempt by the Kim regime to masquerade as a great power while their people starve and their soldiers defect. Like I said, I can rarely argue with anything this woman says. Now, warning. Warning. This is the audio clip that made me play the warning at the beginning of my show. Anybody with a weak stomach, skip ahead one minute. I'll give you, I'll count to five, four, three, two, one. Imagine being a North Korean soldier so desperate and so ravaged by hunger and disease that you would take five bullets from your fellow soldiers in order to escape across the DMZ. Imagine being a 12-year-old in North Korea and being a forced to attend public executions as a reminder of what would happen if you step out of line. Imagine being a mother so desperate for a better life for your child that you would risk rape, torture, and imprisonment if you were caught trying to leave the country. And then imagine getting caught, being forced to abort your baby without anesthesia, and then trying again and again to escape. Yeah, it's that last one. I can't put myself in that woman's mindset. But now you know why I played the warning. And those are not made up tales she dug out of thin air. These are real stories of real people. These things happened. They should motivate us to do more. I'm grateful to my colleagues for the serious measures we have enacted on behalf of the North Korean people. They enacted even stiffer sanctions. I don't know how much more they can do. I am amazed that she was able to get as stiff a sanction as she did out of China on North Korea. However, speaking of dear China, it seems they've been breaking the sanctions. And instead of being smart and just doing it through the pipeline they have, they've been using ships to send more oil to to North Korea. Oh yeah, they've been caught. So, China isn't playing nice. At least not completely. North Korea has stated that those who voted for the sanctions would face its wrath. Well, I'm not sure how much wrath it has. Oh, and its buddy Iran has a mock-up of a, of a stealth fighter labeled 313. By the way, it doesn't even have the tire pressure to have an, air, an aircraft engine on it.
China, of course, has called for calm and restraint. They gave us the tougher sanctions in an attempt to prevent war. China has sent more than one Communist Party official to North Korea in an attempt to stave off war. However, comma, the party official got nowhere. He essentially spent days in a hotel room and was met with only once. He was supposed to have an audience with Kim Jong-un. Well, Kim Jong-un refused to see him. This father of three is willing to doom even potentially his own family. Yes, you heard me, he's a father of three. We're not sure of the exact ages. We believe there's one son and two daughters. And by the way, his birth date and his age is classified information in North Korea. All right, we are coming up on the bottom of the hour. But North Korea appears to be planning to launch a satellite towards space. And why this is important? Well, space technology and ballistic missile technology are very similar. And it may even be a way for them to test the re-entry vehicle without the use of an ICBM. If China truly wants peace on that peninsula, they will cut off all, all of the oil. 100%. Iran can only send so much so fast before people would catch on. The fact that we have Marines in Norway, which by the way, anyone hazard a guess the last time we had Marines in Norway before I take a commercial break? Tell you what, I'll let you think about it over break. We will take that commercial break, and I will see you on the other side. You're listening to the Spark Radio Network, internet radio like you've never heard before. Innovation, creativity, and imagination are all said to begin with a spark. So fasten your seatbelt and take the ride of your life and listen for the spark. You are listening to KLRN Radio, where liberty and reason still reign. Most writers and radio show hosts know that to connect with your fans, you need to do more than just write books or record the latest podcasts. There are many different elements that go into forming an online platform, but there are also many hidden traps. To make matters worse, solid advice on how to survive the muddy waters is scarce. In the book Hidden Traps, I talk about some of the important issues of working with an online platform, highlighting traps that could put your physical or internet security at risk, or be harmful to your reputation. Are your social media posts just links with a few disjointed words making you look like someone who can't complete a sentence? Did your new website cost you more than you anticipated? Are you leaking your personal contact details across the web without even knowing it? Then you need Hidden Traps. Hidden Traps is now available in paperback and ebook from a variety of retailers, including Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Kobo. 
Visit blackwolfpublications.com for more details. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-553-8687. That's 800-553-8687. Again, 800-553-8687. KLRN Radio has advertising rates available. We have rates to fit almost any budget. Contact us at advertising at klrnradio.com. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's 800-783-0810. My son was in the Army back during Desert Storm, but even then he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq, Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree too. It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now. 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. Flexible. Affordable. Relevant. Call 800-910-1370. Sometimes riders feel lost, unsure why a passage may not be working. It takes another set of eyes to help us nurture our riding into full maturity. At Black Wolf Editorial Services, we strive to enable riders to develop and grow, offering manuscript critiques and line edits through a mentoring editorial style. We also offer assistance on generating a rider's bio for your websites. Black Wolf Editorial Services, nurturing your riding into maturity. For a full list of services, visit blackwolfeditorial.com. You can run away if you wanna You can pretend that this is totally okay if you wanna You can play dead if you wanna Forget what they say and if you wanna Turn your back on the country need and you right now But I don't wanna Alright, thank y'all for hanging in there with me while we paid those radio station bills And the comment was made that I seem pretty certain that this is going to happen in 2018. Well, think about it. If that bloody nose attack actually gets diplomatically approved and everybody agrees to a limited strike and looks the other way, what are the odds of Kim Jong-un sitting there twiddling his thumbs? His soldiers, at least some of them, have been vaccinated against 
Anthrax. American soldiers have been vaccinated against anthrax. South Korean military has not. Yeah, you heard me. The South Korean military has not. They're also toying with putting anthrax on missiles. And like I said, I am not trying to end the year on a downer note. I really am not. And by the way, to make the night totally a complete downer, we are ending on taps. Some A family had their Christmas ruined. So, like I said, it just kind of works with my mood. I don't know what else to say on this one. By the way, to answer the question I asked, when was the last time we had Marines in Norway? World War II. World War II. Now, here's the deal. How serious is the anthrax threat? Let's talk about it since it's the latest and greatest. Anthrax is easier and cheaper to make. And then nuclear weapons. And Blue House, South Korea's version of the White House, did buy a thousand doses of anthrax vaccine to be given to biomechanical terrorism agents or civilians in case of anthrax exposure. A thousand doses. Blue House has 350 of those. And he said they're to counter accidental exposure. It was, but it was ordered by the previous government. So, even their high-ranking government officials have not been vaccinated. And this leads me to wonder if they do start a war I'm just grateful our soldiers have been, but if they do start a war, this could be a chem bio war. They've already proven they have VX. They use it to used it to assassinate Kim Jong Nam. Just to give you a, a visual representation, I want you to pull out a penny. Yeah, Penny. I want you to find Lincoln's eye. Yep, take a minute, look for it. That is a lethal amount of undiluted VX if it gets in a membrane. We're talking minutes. There isn't time to get you cleaned off. There isn't time. You have to have the antidote there or you're dead. Like I said, look at a penny. Find Lincoln's eye. Good luck. It takes a minute. That is a lethal dose of VX. Venomous Agent X. This stuff is not fun. We know they have that. We know we believe they if they vaccinated their soldiers against anthrax. So pretty safe to assume. Guess what, kids? They got anthrax, too. I mean, 
the fact that they have the antibodies in one of their soldiers' bloodstreams, and no, I don't know which one. Doesn't help ease anyone's concerns. Now back to China. China was exposed for secretly helping North Korea by illegally importing gas and oil into the country, which is a violation of UN sanctions. Photos of trade exchanges in the West Sea were released by the Treasury Department. And Trump being Trump called them out on Twitter. Now, this is after we a second soldier has defected across the DMZ. This one escaped in fog. That's why you didn't hear a big hubbub about him. And now, defecting soldiers from the regime are found to have the anthrax antibody. I don't see why a regime that won't even feed its people would spend money on a vaccine for its soldiers. They don't even feed them properly, yet they're going to spend money on a vaccine? That means they're planning on using it, kids. That's exactly what it means. And trust me, they're ta- they're testing anthrax packed warheads. We just have a defector that has the anthrax antibody. Defectors that live near that nuclear test site are showing signs of radiation. None of this is good. None of this. I don't want, trust me, the last thing I want is war. I can assure you, no one prays for peace more than the soldiers sent to fight the battles or their families. Now, unfortunately, here's what I'm thinking. All right, let's play some Connect the Dots. You with me? We're going to play Connect the Dots. Things kick off with North Korea. So we're in the Asia-Pacific region, hot and heavy. Then Iran starts something in the Middle East, either attacks Israel or something, or one of their proxies. And... Iran's Supreme Leader, Iranian Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei said U.S. President Donald Trump would fail in his hardened stance towards Iran. Tehran was stronger than during the time of the more powerful and smarter Reagan. Reagan was more powerful and smarter, yeah, whatever. So, Iran is threatening to act a fool. So you've got China flying jets into Seoul airspace. You've got China smuggling oil to North Korea, which why they just didn't use their pipeline is what I don't understand. You've got Iran screaming and yelling and showing... And having uh, weapons factories outside their country to evade the san- the avoid violating the uh, Iran nuclear deal. Iran has begun funding both Hamas and Hezbollah again. Not to mention the Houthi rebels. And Haley proved 
they're supplying weapons to the rebels. I don't have the audio handy, but she proved it. I know I didn't save the audio clip I used that night, friends. I don't always save them all. I do not want us to end this show on this downer. So. I have come up with a, I couldn't resist, come on, you know I had to do it. I've got some lighter stories, if you can call Romanian hackers taking over DC surveillance cameras just before the presidential inauguration, lighter. U.S. is finally arming the Ukraine, but what's coming next? The U.S. is sending anti-tank missiles to the re- Ukraine. It's a move that angered Russia, fueled massive uncertainty over the future of the war in the Ukraine, and President Trump authorized the sale of lethal munitions to the Ukrainian government to fight Russian-backed separatists in the country's Donbass, a.k.a. Crimea, peninsula region. Yeah. The self-declared separatists have a large inventory of tanks and other armored vehicles purportedly supplied by Russia. Of course, these people might as well have Russian military slapped all over them. They essentially are Russian military. So, unfortunately, I'm thinking we're going to face at least a two-front war, if not a three-front war. Yeah. I'm, like I said, folks... This is going to be a very hard year. Now, of course, Russia says war with U.S. war with North Korea would be a catastrophe. Well, no kidding. The U.S. has stated its commitment to resolve the dispute diplomatically. But we will use military force if that's what it comes to. I mean, at this point, with Kim Jong-un not willing to back down and possibly having chemical weapons and biological weapons. By the way, have I already killed your knight? Kim Jong-un has polio. Yes, they have polio on hand. They have other diseases that have allegedly been eradicated. Plague, polio, all those friendly things we're no longer vaccinated for. And would take months to ramp up the proper vaccines. All right, I'm open a search engine. I need some corny news because this is getting to me too. So we're going to grab a search engine here and type in the word news. And I'm going to type in silly news because I need a break. I'm sure somebody's got some out there. All right. All 
A horseback rider in Florida got charged with DUI. Yeah. There was an oyster vending machine installed at a French seaside resort. Okay, that's kind of a doozy. Texas officials rename Robert E. Lee High School as L-E-E -E High School, just Lee High School. There is a rhino that has his own security detail. He is an, a rare white rhino and the last of his breed and a male. They are attempting to find a female rhino so they can potentially pr produce more or to locate another white rhino in the world. No, I'm not kidding, folks. And then there was the black rhino that was airlifted. Yes, airlifted. How do you save a prehistoric animal that's ornery exotic and weighs around a ton? Especially when it lives in places that are hard to get to. Well, evidently you airlift it. Upside down. It took... One 1,400-pound black rhino who's been darted and sedated. Evidently, there was a kid in the middle of it. Two veterinarians and three game catcher specialists put the strap on the feet of the rhino and hoist him upside down. Yes. And they moved him a little over a hundred square miles. And believe it or not, this wasn't the first rhino to take this upside down ride. This was number 198 for one vet animal capture specialist and number... So, it's safe to say they've done it before. They shoot the rhino from the helicopter with a tranquilizer dart, follow it, track it until it falls down. Then evidently they land and attach all the straps and buckles needed to fly the rhino. If that ain't funny news, I don't know what is. Oh, in other news, folks, this will not be my last show of the week. I am joining Rick Robinson tomorrow. We are doing our very own year-end special, year-end review, using, anyone going to guess? Anyone want to guess? Audio clips, of course. Yes, so I will be on the air with Rick tomorrow night at 7, and here's kind of what we're planning. 
We're going to start with audio clips from January to December. We're going to do the political ones first. Then we're going to take a break, reset with the next round, and come back with the international ones. So that ought to be good for a laugh, and I've got some audio clips you guys haven't heard. Ones that just didn't quite fit the story. But I've I've saved them for a reason. Oh, all right. I let me see if I've got one prepped. Hang on. Let me see. I still remember walking up behind a squad of infantry Marines that these two represent, and uh, in in a place called Ramadi. And I uh, walked up, and it was one of those days, the enemy shooting down the street at us, and we're shooting down our sailors, Marines shooting back down the street at them. And I walked up, and I, I uh, asked the squad leader, a uh, 20-year-old corporal, uh, the single most inane question that has ever been asked of a squad leader in combat. You ready for this? And this is Secretary Mattis before he became Defense Secretary. In 240-odd years of history of the Marine Corps. I said, hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> and a squad leader convinced that his village idiot had somehow escaped and gotten out there in a general's uniform, dropped his rifle for a moment and said, General, not to worry, we're just taking the fun out of fundamentalism over here. <coughs> <coughs> yes, that had me cracking up. All right. Time for the press release. Just as a reminder, you can track me down on Twitter at Jesse's POV, and you can email me at the station at Jesse's POV at KLRNRadio.com. All right, as a reminder, I'm ending the show on taps, which means there will be no spoken words after I start reading the press release. And I thank all of you for hanging in there with me. Flying rhinos and all tonight. This is dated December 22nd, but I haven't had a show since this was released. The Department of Defense announced the death of a soldier who is supporting Operation Inherent Resolve. Specialist Avedon Chavez of Turlock, California who was 20 years old, died December 20th at Al-Assad, Anbar Province, Iraq, from a non-combat-related incident. Chavez was assigned to the 1st Battalion, 6th Infantry Regiment, 2nd Brigade Combat Team, Fort Bliss, Texas. (laughs) 